Hey guys, this is Manish from RebellionRider.com once again and today in this Oracle Database tutorial, I'll show you how to manually uninstall Oracle Database 11G from Windows 7 machine. Since we are going to uninstall Oracle Database 11G manually, therefore we will not be using OUI for uninstalling the software. Ok, without further ado, let's start with deleting the environment variable. If you are planning to reinstall Oracle Database 11G or any version after uninstalling, then this step is important to avoid PRVF3929 environment variable error. To delete environment variable, right click on my computer and select properties. And then choose advanced system setting from right side panel. After this, you will get a system properties on system property window go to advanced tab and select environment variable now in system variable section select and double click path variable which will give you edit system variable window here in this window you can find the oracle home path which will be like C app man product 11.2.0 db home one slash bin here man is the username you'll have your username here select this string this environment path and delete after that Press OK and exit. Now move on to second step. In order to uninstall Oracle Database 11G from Windows, we have to stop all the services and daemon process related to Oracle Database that are run by Windows automatically in background. For that, we have to delete all the Oracle registries from Windows. Please be careful while doing this and do not delete any other registry as this might cause serious problem such as system or any other service crash. Thus, I suggest you to take backup of all the registry first and then proceed ahead. Now open up your run command by pressing together Windows key and R key or you can just go to your start menu and write run now we have to open windows registry editor for that write regedit in run command and hit enter see here now let's first take the backup of registries for this go to h key local machine and then software select this software and right click and then select export give it a name like I'll give EG software backup uh, one click save you can save it anywhere in this system like you have to choose the location so choose whatever location which you think is the safest one for your registry Okay. Now, after taking the backup, again go to H key local machine and then software and then Oracle and right click Oracle and select delete. Say yes. Oracle registry holds all the important data such as Oracle home path and Oracle SID required by Oracle services to start up. Thus, it become mandatory to delete this registry in order to uninstall Oracle 11G and to avoid error in fresh installation. Now, we have to delete few more registries which are responsible for Oracle background processes and services. But before that, once again take their backup first for taking backup go to h key local machine then system then current control set right click current control set and select export 
give it a name you can select whatever location which you think is safe for your registry backup give it a name and click save okay now navigate to edge key local machine then system then current control set and then services here in services select and delete all those oracle registry which are started by oracle name scroll down a little bit here as you can see we have these oracle registries 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and as you can see the name of these registries are started with oracle we have to delete all these registry just right click and select delete okay done with deleting all this registry now to stop all the services bind with oracle it's important to restart the system so restart your system just wait let me restart my system i will be back in a second okay i am back now to uninstall oracle database 11g from windows we have to delete all the oracle database files in order to delete oracle database file open up your computer go to your c drive and any other drive where you have installed your oracle database 11g then go to app then to the directory with your username in my case it's man select all the files and delete them if you want to save backups then do not delete flash recovery area but since i do not want to save so i'll delete everything it can take few seconds or few minutes that's it that's the proper process of uninstalling oracle database 11g from windows 7. you can also visit my website www.rebellionrider.com for more information join the community and connect with me on my social networking all the contact information is in the description below hope you enjoyed watching don't forget to like and subscribe we'll see you soon guys with another interesting sql tutorial till then take care this is manish